There is a mysterious figure in a dark violet robe selling a list of 12 shards that seem to glow mysteriously under moonlight. I, that is very intriguing. I'm going to walk up to that person. <laughs> All right. You walk up to the dark robed stranger. In a bit of a whisper, she talks to you. Hello, love. I've been out in the desert looking for rare objects and assorted items, and I can see you've got yourself a discerning eye. Hmm. What? It, sorry, the, these... These things you have, what are these? Magic shards, my girl. Magical shards. In my line of work, you don't exactly know what you're going to find out there until you start looking, but these... As the stories go, are shards from the heavens themselves, fragments of stars. There's you may see. Looking... If you are looking specifically in the equipment list, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm seeing shards... them. <laughs> yeah, these shards come in uh, twelve different shades of color. And Robin, do not crucify me. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I guess to describe them each here, she would uh, hold up a. A, a a little like a like a dark red kind of shard that sort of like glows a little bit if she like rotates it um this one is called an aries shard if you want to feel lucky you would hold on to this it's kind of a, a, a brownish looking one she holds up says it comes from a constellation in the shape of a bull if you just want to get better overall, you would hold on to this one as close as you uh, can. There is one that is a gold color. If you want to become physically powerful at the sacrifice of your mind, hold on to this There's shard. There's a bright silver shard that looks like hot if iron. If you want to fortify yourself at the uh, cost of your physical strength, this is the shard you want to hold on to and keep fresh. There is one that is the color of freshly cut if grass. You want to have the strength of a beast but sacrifice your own defenses, this is the one to hang on One that to. is the color of an ocean at daybreak. This shard here, you may find yourself feeling a little less healthy, but a little more magically inclined and a little faster. Uh, there is one that is the color of if. the shiny skin of a beetle, like a, like a dark, vibrant green. That like, if you rotate it, it just like shines green in the this light. This one. If you want to resist magic and cast it more powerfully at the cost of your own health, Keep this precious. And of course, I'm going just down the zodiac here, so. Yeah. Uh, it is a, a bright cobalt uh, shard. This one is for thieves. If you want your knife play to be improved by just being more dexterous and more strong, this one is yours. But your luck gets sacrificed. The next one is a, a dark black color. But if you shine over the light, it glows a brilliant blue. Let's see. This one, if you want to have the power of an archer, this is yours for the taking. Corn. It is a almost sickening purple color. Like like dark wine that is a little bit too strong to the smell. This one, if you want maximum health and maximum magic, is your best friend. But watch out. Is it, it is a capricious sort of shard. It will reduce your overall dexterity and speed if you hold This one is a dark wine red like a violet sea. If you're out and about uh, at the sea at night, that is kind of the color that you're looking at here. Uh, this one benefits your strength, your dexterity, your magic, your speed. If you want to attack now and attack quickly, hold on to this shard like it is your lifeblood. And lastly, the Pisces ring, which is a bright pink color like a salmon. This one, if you just want to be a better fortified person overall, hold on to this. But they aren't cheap, mind you, child. No, no. Just one would cost you 2,000 gold. Are, are these homebrewed items, or are these... These are actual items that are in Fire Emblem. The descriptions are homebrew flavor. I see. I... I, <clears throat> I can tell. <laughs> uh, I, I know. It's... it's yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, I can't think of the natural Zodiac anymore without thinking of that one fucking webcomic mm -hmm, that everyone mm -hmm, hates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop it! <laughs> Stop perceiving me! Oh, you did this to me! I did, you're right. I'm taking psychic damage. As you should. These are very intriguing, but I do have my mind set on something else today. Uh, maybe in the future I may come looking for these at some point. You're very shrewd. I'm, 
I'm sorry. An opportunity I opportunity like this does not come every day, child. I d I know. But I also don't quite have the two thousand that you would be asking for. I understand. I understand. These are very rare and valuable artifacts. It's quite a collection. <laughs> a very pretty collection. <laughs> Bird attracted to shiny objects? No, of course not. <laughs> uh, may, may I uh, just hold one real quick? By all means. But do know I have eyes all over the city, child. Uh, of course. Uh, and I'm gonna... She She's just gonna pick up the Libra shard and just kind of hold it up above her, like, looking up through it. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's a very pretty kind of teal color, almost. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> I did this to myself. <laughs> yeah. stop yes. Sorry. Very pretty, but unfortunately, I do have to pass her right now. And she mm. sets it back down. <laughs> Alright. Well, perhaps next time. 